Hi, I'm Robin Hernandez of Civilly Cloud Product Management, and I'm here joined by Judith Hurwitz of Hurwitz & Associates. And Judith and Hurwitz uh, is the author of uh, Service Management for Dummies, Cloud Computing for Dummies, and the soon-to-be-released Hybrid Cloud for Dummies. So welcome, Judith. Thanks Thank for joining you, Robin. me. So this morning we heard in the main set they talked a lot about cloud done right and what are the characteristics of cloud done right, including things like workload aware, flexibility in hybrid clouds. So what do you tell to your clients when they come in and ask you about cloud and how do you tell them to do cloud right? Well, I, I, I think the first issue when companies are thinking about the cloud, first of all, they have to educate themselves. They have to understand what it is. They also have to plan as though they're doing any uh, infrastructure project, if they just go and do random acts of cloud, let's say, um, they're going to end up with as many silos of technology as got them into trouble in the first place. So there's a lot mm -hmm. of planning, it's a lot of thinking about what their workloads are, what their requirements are, how they're going to manage it, uh, what their responsibilities in terms of governance and compliance, issues like latency, and they have to take all of this into account. So you can't just barrel into cloud without thinking it through. So one of the other characteristics we heard of cloud done right is hybrid cloud. Yes. And the flexibility and choice of whether you're on-premise or off-premise or a combination of both. And I know you guys have an upcoming release on hybrid cloud. That's so right. tell us your thoughts on hybrid. So, so I think that this is actually where the world will go. Uh, you know, it, uh, every, every new trend takes time. Right. But the idea is that companies will have a combination of using some public cloud services. For example, if people within the organization are part of a community where they're just discussing ideas, there's, there's no intellectual property at risk, they're just in, in joining in a, in a conversation, you can have a community cloud. Mm -hmm. If, on the other hand, uh, they are um, working with a set of partners and that becomes a revenue source, and, and, and so you're going to want to have that in a private cloud. So, so it's really, you, you won't have one or the other. You'll have some public cloud services. You may need some capacity to do a special project. You don't want to have, have to go and buy those resources. If you need it for a month, and then you don't need it anymore. So it's, it's really finding the most appropriate platform to do the functions you need to do and to support the workload you have. And most companies, will it won't be black and white. It'll be a combination of these. And I also foresee that the data center itself will change from being sort of a catch-all for any computing resource to be more defined for, let's say, line of business applications and then for different workloads, expanding and contracting workloads, a private cloud will serve that purpose. So the whole way we do computing and think about computing resources will have to change. So hybrid will be, that will be the how you do computing in the future. Yeah, very interesting. So it sounds like always starting with the strategy is the best way to go, you, right? You have Not to start with the strategy. You have to, you know, what, what's keeping me from satisfying the business? Right. Um, and if you can get to what's my end goal, what, how can I best satisfy my customers? How can I create a customer experience that is really impactful? You start from that and you work back. It may be all you need is a calculator if your business is adding up a column of numbers. You don't right. need a cloud.